This video is a little bit different than my other ones. The footage is a bit old, filmed around two months ago. I switched over to using a laptop and decided this would be a good opportunity to take this footage and get used to working on this new device. The other difference is that this time I'm going to be drawing fan art. The artwork for this video features characters from the upcoming game Super Lesbian Animal RPG. It is being developed by Bobby Schroeder and you can check out its development process on her Patreon, monthly updates are free, and her Tumblr, Panette. Super Lesbian Animal RPG, often shortened to S-L-A-R-P-G and pronounced by moi as Slarpg, is about playing as an anxious fox named Melody who has recently joined an adventure team with her girlfriend and two other friends. The fox in this illustration is obviously Melody, the main character. The rabbit is Allison, Melody's girlfriend. The tiger is Jody, the fourth party member. And the unicorn, Faith, isn't on the team at all. The actual third party member is a yellow cow named Claire. The idea behind this illustration is that it's a double date. The first event in the game, which you can experience in the demo, is the first quote-unquote journey that the team goes on. Jody is actually the last character to join the party, so in this scene Allison is telling Jody about how fun their first outing was. There's a lot I wanted to do with this piece. Everyone has a unique expression as I wanted to practice having an illustration feel more like a scene rather than just a display. Melody is slightly uncomfortable but is still looking happily at her ecstatic and cocky girlfriend. Faith is looking at Allison recount her story with an alert stare, and Jody is distracted by how nice Faith looks. One thing I did not look into before was the height chart. I was under the impression that Jody, the buff tiger girl, was taller than Faith, but it turns out that Faith is actually taller than Jody. I tried to fix the heights before moving on to the line art, but it did end up making some parts of the drawing more awkward later down the line. I also wanted to practice drawing food and backgrounds. I figured the perfect setting for this piece would be the Higgly Piggly, a diner in the starting town. The easiest character to draw is probably Melody. She has an easy to understand design. Face design was changed a little from her official design. She doesn't have a beard in the game, but it is hard for me to pass up drawing one. I feel like the little beard is one of Unicorn's more unique features. I don't like drawing unicorns as just horses with horns, because in original medieval art they are depicted with cloven feet and deer's head. Some of the other features were a bit harder to fit in, like the cloven hooves and the lion's tail, but the tiny beard keeps face feminine. Jody was hard to structurally get down, but after using reference images of a tiger profile view, she was easy. In the cleanup phase, I actually ended up redrawing Allison, but I still have to make small edits to her after finishing the cleanup sketch footage. I draw animals' anatomy closer to their realistic anatomy. Even if my rabbits still look cartoony, their skeleton should be quote unquote the same as a real rabbit's. This made drawing Allison a bit tricky, as rabbits have kind of weird faces, or at least weird to draw. I used a brown pen brush in this piece to make it seem softer and warm, but I eventually changed it to a very dark desaturated purple to unify the pinks in the piece. Slarpg is full of lots of cyan, yellow, and is dominated by pink. It's a cute game with vibrant pixel art. If you aren't going to play the game, I would at least check out screenshots as its environments are absolutely charming and beautiful. I studied some screenshots to get the background accurate to the game, but I admitted some paintings on the wall to not overclutter the piece.
I used the brush with some texture to paint in the shading. But the light source is coming from outside, but I also softened the shading later on to let the piece still seem light and fun. You might have caught on to the fact that I didn't shade the foreground characters, but I actually didn't record it. I wasn't convinced I would like the shading, but did it anyways for practice. I'm glad I did, as a shaded background with flat characters might have seemed a little boring or uninteresting. And that's a speed paint. That's all I have to say for now. Till next time.